Right, grade fours, we are looking at some geography and we're looking at symbols and keys. Now, I want you to have two little pictures in your mind. Um, when you think of symbols, think of little pictures. And when you think of keys, think of a key unlocking a door. Okay, so if we have a look at the map, um, we see that there's little pictures on the, on the map. So there's little trees and there's a seesaw and so on and so on. The key tells us what the pictures stand for. So the key unlocks the map. Okay, and it tells us what this little symbol is. Okay, now it's fairly obvious on this map because we can see that it looks like a tree. But if we look at the second map, it's just green. And we need the key to tell us that, that green, those green spots is the forest. And we need the key to tell us that the brown with the green um, little uh, bushes are moorland. Then if we look at this little triangle, that's the little picture, that's the symbol. And we need the key to unlock what it means and it tells us that that's the mountain peak. There's a red little um, block down south of your map and we need the key to tell us that that's the ferry. So symbols and keys, symbols are the pictures that we find on a map and the key is the, it helps us to unlock the little pictures to tell us what those little pictures mean. How will your teacher ask us? Well, again, it's map work, so it's practical. She'll give you a map and she'll ask you what you find on the map. She may ask you to um, draw a key or she may ask you, she may combine this with um, grid references. So she may give you a key and say in block B3, draw the symbol for a tree. And then you would have to use the key to see what the symbol for a tree is and draw it in B3. Very practical because it's map work, could be combined with um, compass points, could be combined with direction, could be combined with grid references. Good luck.